what's up, what's up, what's up? I feel that, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that, man. I said I was gonna kinda get in, get away from that sound. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can pop and lock on something different, you know what I'm saying? Cause I hear this little, um, this little dash, just, it, may, it may drive me crazy, but it won't. It won't. That's part of the four agreements. Today is the fourth agreement. And that is be impeccable with your word. Watch yourself talk. Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It's very subtle. What are you saying? But it's something that needs to be worked on. You know what I'm saying? It's something that needs to be worked on. And we'll work on it. I was listening to my boy Creflo Dollar today. Man, hey, that Creflo was in. Hey, that George Meyer was in today. They was in. They was in on top of the thing, for sure. What Joyce was saying, let me hold that. What Joyce was saying was that uh, she was reading one scripture about Jacob or somebody going through. They was chained up with irons and fetters. And then they said his soul went into the irons. And uh, what she was saying is, is that his soul became as strong as iron that was holding it. Because the challenge, the trial makes you stronger. As long as you don't give up, it makes you stronger. A lot of things that's out here, man, you know, it ain't gonna kill you. It'll make you stronger, but if you give up, having that will, just like what Jesus said, you know, Lord has placed these guys in my hand, nobody can take them out. Hey, hey, the Lord gave me my life, I can take my life up. He said the shepherd lays his life down for the sheep. I can lay my life down, I can take it up, it's my life. I can do that, you can't take it from me. That's what Jesus was saying, with authority, with intentionality. He said, only if I give up. So, I think it helps you make the right decisions at the right time. But then, after that, right? After reading that impeccable with my word, we got over to my boy Creflo Dollar. And he was talking about the words. He was saying, in the Holy Spirit is what he was talking about. He said, who do you, yes, Peter, who do y'all say I am? They say that you, uh... Elisha, they say you a prophet. He said, but who do you say I am? And then Peter blurted out, you are the Christ, the Holy One from God. He, he, and and what, what Creflo Dollar said after that is that Jesus answered him. He said, hold on, I didn't see a question in that sentence. But he said, it was like that came out of Peter's mouth. Peter was like, what, what in the world? He said, hey, look, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. That came straight from God. Man, he was, I mean, Creflo was on this thing about these words. He said, the Holy Spirit searches the deep things, things that are hidden for you. They are revealed. And some things that are hidden from you will be revealed through the Holy Spirit. But we have to acknowledge him. We have to utilize him. Allow him to utilize us just like that. Because there's been some things that came to you and or came to certain folks. You'd be like, man, look, I, man how did I figure that out? Dang, how did I know that? Classic example, like uh, working on our, when me and my wife, our air conditioning was going out. And I'm kind of handy, man. I kind of poke around and mess around with stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to prop that air conditioner up for four or five more years, 10 years propping that thing up didn't have any kind of formal training in anything. I was saying to myself, how did I find this part anyway? How did I even think that this part would work? But that's part of the thing that God has given me to kind of see things, see how things kind of work. Now, building that team. See, here's the deal. You can have a guy, man, that can see how things work, but not necessarily have the resources to work it out. And that's where the team come from. 
That's why I was telling my son he needs a team. Everybody needs a team. But they're going to have to do some type of work until you get the team. See what I'm saying? You got to put your voice out on it. You got to pray about it. You got to speak it into existence. You got to speak it as if it's so. Because it said in one of the affirmations the other day, the things that I am seeking is seeking me. We seeking each other. Because once I started seeking it, we had the connection with it. That's why I told my wife she's looking for her for her condo. Well, while she looking for a condo, her condo looking for her. The beachfront property. Now, what I was trying to get into an alignment with was not into the means on how to get it. You know, we, we've been looking at prices and costs and, and mortgages and, and dollars and stuff like that. I said, look, we should just get anything. You see what I'm saying? We should just get anything. That's all we could do. We just get into the frequency of it, the vibration of it, the resonance of it. And as we get closer to it, it says in the thing, it get closer to us. And also, we got to make sure we got the motive right. Because here's the thing. Uh, Creflo was saying the Holy Spirit revealed to you the stuff when you need it. But if you ain't got no need for it, then why should he reveal it? If you ain't got no need for it, why have it? Why ask for it if there's no need for it? Like right now, for example. For example, let's just come up with an example, something that I could ask for, but I have no need for. Bulldozer. I, I, I don't have a need for a bulldozer. Could I use one? Yeah, I could probably get it. And I ain't got nowhere to even use a bulldozer. I end up having to sell it. I have to sell it. Cause I don't have a need for it. I don't have a need for sushi right now. I don't like sushi. I don't eat sushi. I say I don't like. I've had some, but I don't really have a need for it. Why ask for it? Like right now. Oh, here's a classic example. Satellite. What? Why would I ask for a satellite? The satellite don't do you no good here on the ground. It got to be up in space. So why would I ask for it? The genie came on the scene and said, man, whatever you wish for, you can have. Hey, give me a satellite. No. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. So why ask for it? And the deal is, is that the way this thing responded was I'm trying to get my mind right is it's the, it's the genuine need on the inside, not just the want, like it said in the Bible. Oh yeah, the day is Wednesday. The day is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Was seeking Wednesday, but asking it is given. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be open. You have not, cause you ask not, or you ask amiss, or you have not, because you ask amiss to consume on your own lust. See the motive. It's been working on. Me and my daughter and my wife was talking about. Uh, We've had this conversation before. It is true to a certain extent, but I'm just trying to work this thing out. They said on this investing, we still invest with Terry, right? We're still looking at charts every night, right? They said, look, you know, if you was trying to get a hundred bucks a day, that's what she was saying, a hundred dollars a day, then you have met your hundred dollar goal. I said, yeah, that's true, but that ain't my goal. I'm not going to set a limit on that. My wife was saying, yeah, I want to do $5,000 a week. You know, build up to that. See, even though she said it, she kind of felt that it was out of range, $5,000 a week. But she said it anyway. That's good. It's good stuff. Got to put it out there. Throw it out there. But don't take it right back, see. You can't take it right back, throw it out there, and, and let it hang out there. You know, she told her wanted to re reel it back in. My daughter said, I, I want to make $5,000 a day. Now she said, a minute. 
that's what she said. It's Cause she bigger thinking. She she said, hey, look, I'm gonna go bigger thinking. I wanna make that every second or every minute, five thousand dollars. I said, well, I ain't got no limit. Go make with it, go make. She said, you gotta have a goal. You gotta have, and I agree. But my goal is different. I'm doing the domino goal. See, I'm building. I'm trying. I'm going for the habit. Not necessarily see five thousand dollars a day, like my boy said for the one thing. Hey, look, that's not actionable. It's too broad. It's still too broad. You can't work on that. My goal would be to chart a chart every single day. Now that's a goal. To learn what I can, that's something actionable that I can do. See, they, they didn't know I'm on that level, see. I'm on that level, but we're going for the habit. Because the habit of making $5,000 a, a day, a week, a minute, the habit, if I got the right habit, and that habit gonna come with, you know, studying them charts every day. Looking at different stocks, coming up with great news sources. That's where that habit gonna come in. But yeah, Creflo was on it, man. So I'm gonna go back and listen to that whole Creflo series, which is uh, The Spirit of Grace. He's on part five, but I'm gonna listen to that whole series and dig off in there, dive off in there, searching and seeking. Like a heat seeking missile. Because of the stuff I'm looking for in the scripture is looking for me. I like that. I like that quote right there, boy. That quote straight up tight. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this McDonald's is closed. Like she said, they took the sign down and everything. Maybe that thing is closed. Cause I don't mm -hmm. see nobody working on it. I don't see no dumpster out there, no remodeling dumps, just like this Burger King. It's closed. Yeah, I think it is closed. It looks closed. I think my wife right. But anyway, we proceed from that. We headed in to work. We finna do it to life. We finna go in. We finna uh, take one of these calm pills, two of them. We gonna calm it down because we know what the day gonna bring. Some challenges. But we gotta stay focused. We gotta get into this time block. Just gotta keep working, keep working. It's all about that work, baby work. That's what we gotta get into. Now 22 coming up is all about work, baby. Put me in that work. I did it this morning. I was gonna uh, change the little timer on the Christmas lights. And I was at one door going to, I said, ah, you know what, man, we already at this door. I could, we could just wait, uh, do it tonight. And I said, nah. If we're gonna be about this work, then what we gotta do is when we think of it, we gotta work it, we gotta do it. I had another customer say the same thing. He said, man, if it's on my mind, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta smash it all the way out. You gotta be smashed all the way out until it's done. So I can't think about it no more. So that's it. So, all right, so I'm out. Do it to it, you do it to it too. Do it to the like, that thumbs up, share it, peace out, do it to like.